Hi, are you thinking about starting a local service business, also known as a contracting business, and not quite sure if you should or shouldn't? Well, watch this video and I'm gonna give you the quick pros and cons of starting your own contracting business. So, who am I? My name is Joe, I'm the owner of Deptford Fence in South Jersey, as well as the uh, founder of Local Pro Helper on Facebook and everything else. So, what can you expect? Well, the first thing is, um, number one question is, well, how much money can you make? So that really depends. Every person's different and you also have to look at money is only one part of the equation. There's really two parts of the equation in your life and that is, you know, how much money and how much time, okay? So, you know, because at the end of the day, you can always get more money, but the time's not there. So if you don't structure your business correctly, you could be spending 80 to 100 hours a week, like all the other contractors. Or if you structure it correctly, you know, you could work as much as I do, but it's only about 15 minutes a day. Just depends on what you want to do. Like some people want to be super involved, some people don't. Um, so as far as financially, you could be going, I've seen people want to make 20 grand a year if they're working, you know, 40 hours a week. I've seen guys that are making, you know, if they're working 60, 80 hours a week, they might only be making 50 grand a year, which is basically about, I don't know, 18 bucks an hour after overtime. Plus you have all the financial responsibilities of that business. So, um, but then again, there's other people like myself, I do really well. And again, I don't really work that much anymore. Uh, so it just depends on how much you want to build the business. Now, second question, how difficult is it? Well, the good news for this, uh, most contracting businesses are very easy to get into. It's very easy to get customers. And the reason for that is most people um, are still stuck, you know, they're not in the 21st century yet. There's people that are still using the phone book. There's people still using like the money mail and clipper and that kind of thing where it just doesn't produce great results, but they just do it because that's what's always been done. And that's what they see the older companies do. Um, but then you have companies like myself, you know, I've only been around for five and a half years and I've been able to grow extremely quickly because I understand the power of the internet and just go that route. Okay, next question. Do you need experience in that particular trade to actually start a business? The answer is no. Uh, I started a defense company, it's kind of been around for five and a half years and uh, this year we almost did $2 million in sales and honestly it could have been more but there was just a lot of different factors. But anyway, we left quite a bit of money on the table this year. And uh, there's, like I said, there's companies in my area and it's, we're in South Jersey, we're right next to Philadelphia. So there's a ton of people, there's a ton of businesses. Uh, in my area, there's at least seven main fence companies. Uh, most of them have been around for 10 plus years. And then there's several that have been around for 15 and 20. And then there's like three that have been around for like 30 years. And then one that's been around for close to 60 years. And I've been able to grow despite of that. Because one thing that you have to wrap around your head and most people don't understand is there's more than enough work for everyone and I mean that sincerely because if you look at different keyword research tools um, which is basically you can go online and you can research how many times people are searching for fence companies or kitchen remodels or whatever it may be and just for my area for the the counties that I service there's at least at least 2,000 people a month searching for a fence company at least. So there's more than enough work for everyone. Sorry if you hear the baby crying, or actually she's just screaming in the back, uh, in the background. Um, but anyway, so there's more than enough work for everyone. There just is, especially now because of COVID, everyone's stuck home. And I think people are gonna realize that more and more that life never, I'm hoping it goes back to normal, but who knows when that'll be. Um, so right now there's an extreme like boom in business because people are taking all the money that they would put on vacations and they're putting in that, that into their house. Not only that, because they're stuck at their house, they're realizing what really has to be done. Um, so like, this past season in May and June, we were averaging about 80 phone calls a day, um, which is just, it, it's insane, okay? So, and uh, next question, how hard is it to run a, a contracting business? Honestly, you can make it as difficult or as easy as you want to. I personally make things as easy as I possibly can and uh, because I don't wanna work. So some guys are okay of working 60, 80 hours a week. Me, I wanted to retire by the time I was 21 and uh, we're, I'm pretty close. Like I work 15 minutes a day on the business. I'll spend more time on this video than I will on my actual business. So there's that. Um, and you gotta realize that there is only three main parts to a contracting business. The first step is you need to um, sell the job. 
Okay, so you have to be able, for that, you have to sell the job, obviously, but you have to get people into the door or on the phone or through emails um, first. So with that, it's just advertising and marketing, So, um, which is pretty simple nowadays. Um, there's videos that I posted, um, which actually shows you how to do Google Ads, so you don't have to pay someone else. Um, but it's pretty easy. The second thing you have to do is to be able to produce the service that you want to provide. So in my case, I'm a fence company. So I install fences. If you do decks or if you do kitchen remodels, whatever, you just have to provide the service. Now, knowing what I know today, I personally would just start with subcontractors and let them do the work. Even if you know how to do the work, because I didn't know how to do fences, um, even if you know how to provide the service, it's still, in my opinion, better to start with subs. And the reason for that is because then you can just focus on bringing in leads and selling the job. And then you have someone else that ends up, um, you know, actually providing the service. Because another thing is like, you probably aren't gonna quit your day job unless you know that you can start this business, right? And the only way you can know how to do that is basically you leveraging other people's time. And um, that's actually a key to one of my successes is I just leverage the time of other people. And that's the way you're going to make more money and with working less hours. Uh, so what you do is you keep on working your day job. You basically are, you know, trying to, you know, maybe after work from five to seven, five to eight, you go out to do quotes and then you book some jobs and then you hire yourself to do it for you. Now, if you don't know how to even provide any of the services, you're just looking for something to do. Um, if you're one of the like internet marketers that just couldn't figure it out to make it work, this is a really good um, business to get into because it's the same thing. You basically just are advertising online to get the leads in, you sell the job, you get someone else to do it, kind of, and you collect the money. Like it's simple. Okay, so, um, and that's what you can do when you're starting part time. Now, if you're starting with no experience whatsoever, then you don't go into kitchen remodels. You don't do bathroom remodels or anything like that. You do something simple like fences and decks. Um, actually, decks is even harder. Fences, it's, it's easy. Like when it comes down to it, you just have to, you know, you learn about the different types of material, which is, you know, vinyl, wood, and aluminum and chain link, pretty much. And then from there, you're just looking to see what looks nice, what doesn't look nice, and then you just give the person an opinion. Plus with the fencing, you can just give a price right on the, over the phone because there's GPS programs that will tell you, like we have a custom program. We just map it out on the, on the GPS program and then it'll tell us how many panels, how many posts, how many gates, like it'll tell us everything. And then with that information, it'll automatically spit out the price for the customer. So it, it's pretty simple. And it takes about, I don't know, two minutes. So there's that. Um, and then as far as that, like that's all you, there's really not much to a contracting business. Um, you know, once you realize that you basically just have the three parts, which is bringing in the leads and selling the jobs, then producing the job. And then finally, the last thing is just knowing your numbers. Now, I'm a big proponent of not being the smartest person in the room. I'd rather not only that, but again, leveraging other people's time. You could spend all the time in the world if you want to manage your books and everything else. But one, you're never, like it's gonna take you forever. And two, you're never gonna be good as good as someone like a CPA or you know a bookkeeper because like that's what they do. That's what they were trained for. That's what they went to school for. So why not use their talents, you know, for the, you know, use their abilities to your benefit. So um, does it cost you more upfront? 100% yes, but at least you'll, one, you'll know it's correct. And two, you'll have the time to spend on making more money. That goes with everything else in life. Like once you get to a certain level, then you also get rid of like, I don't mow the lawn anymore. Like, you know, why am I gonna spend an hour, hour and 15 minutes mowing the lawn when I can pay someone else $35 to do it for me? I can make a hell of a lot more money in an hour than $35. Comes to cleaning the house and everything else. The name of the game, especially with the contracting business is, I keep on saying it, but leverage other people's time. So that means bringing in people to answer the phone calls and emails. That means bringing in people to do the estimates once you get to this level. And once you do that, you can make far more money by working far less. Um, because not everyone's looking to get rich. I'm not rich, I'm not claiming to be, but I live a very comfortable life where I don't really have to work and I can spend time with family whenever I choose to. Um, and then I can also spend time on what I feel like doing. Like I recently just started taking up golf again just because before I didn't have the time, now I do. So I um, hope that answers your questions, but it is an awesome business to get into and uh, have a great day, thanks.